Hello, good day, good afternoon, good evening. It's your time somewhere. I'm your host, Biff Baxter, filling in for Elric Ferris here at the Motherboards.org news channel. News headlines of the week. AMD, are they finally tossing in the towel and giving up against their race against Intel? Quoted, it's time to give up the old mindset of AMD versus Intel because in the future, it won't be about that. Well, then I say, what will it be about? What do you guys think? And how do the AMD fans feel about this? If AMD gives up the desktop platform, who will be the low-end CPU? I mean, there's always has to be an underdog. Somebody will have to replace them because the whole AMD Intel war is kind of what keeps everything fueling. You guys all know that it's the battle. Now what's it going to be about? So I guess maybe it's going to be AMD versus NVIDIA. Let me hear your guys' opinions. That's the first story of the week. Let's move on. The new Asus Transformer Prime tablet. What is this? This is the first quad-core tablet to ever hit the market. It's an Android-based tablet. It features NVIDIA graphics inbound, can be put inside a docking station to make it look just like a laptop. It's lightweight, portable, and I'm really hoping that this is gonna be something that's gonna take off. The release date has now been moved from the 12th to the 19th, and what I wanna know is, do you plan on picking one up, or do you think they're gonna run out of stock before you get your hands on one? Next on the news, there's a new product coming out by Seagate. This is the new Seagate Momentus XT. This is geared for laptop users and for those looking to jump onto something that's faster but not quite ready to put the money into an SSD. What is it? It's eight gigabytes of SSD combined with a 750 gigabyte hard drive to give you faster and better performance. Results will be seen better as it hits the market. What do you guys think? Are you planning on getting one of these or are you just gonna wait till SSD technology is affordable for your budget? Last but not least today, We've got a guy out there looking to replace Pokemon with a new thing called CPU Wars. What is this? Well, you guys know the old Pokemon series. You guys get a bunch of cards, you play against each other, better characters win the card game. So how's this gonna be geared up? Well, you're gonna have CPUs. Now, it's gonna range from all the CPUs for the last 40 years, since the introduction of the CPU all the way to today. So basically you have your cards in your hand, and it's kind of like a lot of the games, you know, Uno's the same way. You're gonna have a card, you're gonna lay it down, and then another one's gonna come out. If you like card games, you'll probably be addicted to this. If you don't like card games, you're gonna be like, heh, who gives it? So what do you guys think? Is this cool? Is this bourgeois? Let the Biff know. Also, the guy who's looking for this is looking to get investors. So if you guys want to PayPal this guy over some cash, take a look in our description box, check it out. And if you guys are interested in this, hey, donate. This has been the news. I'm Biff Baxter, your host, and we'll see you here next week on motherboards.org news.